Hey guys, this is Miriam at High Life Auto. I am out doing a video test drive on a 2014 Subaru Outback. If you've never been on my video test drives before, the way it works is I drive the vehicle on video and I tell you what I see, hear, think, smell, and feel to give you the best indication of being in the driver's seat without actually being in the driver's seat. I'm not a mechanic and this is not meant to be a 182 point inspection, rather this is meant to be a sneak peek into how the vehicle drives and any potential issues I notice as we're going along. So we'll take a look around the vehicle, we'll take a look under the hood, and then we'll go for a drive. Um, so we've been so busy, I haven't had time to do these during the day, so um, I'm trying to find the hood release. Um, I did one this morning on the way to work, and I'm doing one on the way home from work. Where's the hood release? take a look at this and see what we've got and I've never um, been in this I just drove it across the bridge and I'm driving it home tonight um, this is actually Malachi's car um, and uh, we'll see what we've got okay so Subaru Outback uh, pretty decent looking it's like a light blue um, sorry there's a train in my background um, so the best thing about Subarus is just you know you've seen the cheesy commercials um, these tires are they probably need replaced they're probably like 25 percent um, and then the back tires, they're about the same. Um, so the thing about Subarus is, um, the, the difference about Subarus is you know they're made with love. That's the, that's the whole cheesy pickup line. Um, but the point is, uh, Subarus are one of the safest vehicles on the road. Like they're meant to collapse around you. So when you get into a car accident, um, your car's totaled, but you are not. And you walk away from it. So that's, that's kind of why I like Subarus. That's kind of why, um, why we don't typically um, get Subarus because you know people keep them forever. Um, this is just a five-seater. There's spots in here in the back for uh, storage. It is the all-wheel drive version. Um, you see a little bit of, um, it's not really damaged here. It looks like it can be buffed out, just like scraping. Um, and back here, over here, it looks very similar like it's a good looking car there is a little dent right up here on the front wheel well all right and pop this hood it's a little bit dirty but it started right up and it seems to be running good sorry running well i think that's the correct grammar um, so, and I know the auction said, uh, when we bought it, they said some front suspension noise. Um, and I did hear that when I was driving across. I'll kind of try and identify it as we're going. Um, but just, um, it will need, <coughs> it will need something in the front is, um, what it needs. Okay, so we've got 213,000 miles on here. The last Subaru we sold had 287,000 miles and it was, um, just a phenomenal vehicle. Um, tire pressure light, probably not low tires, probably a tire pressure sensor, that's really common, um, but no check engine lights or anything like that. You can hear the radio is working, and we've got heated seats, I know mine is working, and that light is on, and so I assume it works. Um, the heat is on, it also works. I'm going to turn this down to AC, and turn that on, and we'll see if that goes. We've got driver's side window works rear driver's side window works passenger side window works um rear passenger side window i went and put on my seatbelt does not work from the front but it works from the back so the window itself works this switch does not work right here i don't know why um it's just it's not connecting or it's not working or something so there's that um uh, and then sunroof. Uh, we've got sunroof open and whew, it's cold outside. And so the sunroof opens. Now we will go for a drive. And I will try and identify the suspension noise. Um, and it might be something we get fixed. It just, um, it just kind of depends on time. We have been uh, so slammed and we haven't had a whole lot of time to get stuff um, looked at. but we will do our best and um, keep your eye on our description because that is where we will update anything um, if we if we fix anything or if anything else goes wrong or um, anything we that's where we will update it so just waiting here to turn I guess while we're 
waiting to turn you can see my left turn signal works my right turn signal works probably freaking out the person behind me they're like what is that person doing and we're off so this is a trip I make every day home from work it has good acceleration I don't hear any suspension noise like on the highway like I'm on a smooth road I don't really hear any suspension noise I do hear road noise um, like I said those tires are not the greatest they they need to be replaced um, so I hear I hear tire noise but I don't hear any suspension noise we're gonna try our cruise let's see set I've got my cruise set and it works. Try my windshield wipers and my fluid. So the wipers and the fluid both work. Um, and this is one of the uh, the cars that the automatic, but it also has the paddle shifting. And so if you want to go into manual mode, you can do manual mode. And then right here, this plus right here, that's your uh, and the minus right here. Those are your paddle shifters. And so you can go into manual mode if. Um, if that's your kind of thing. I do not like that. Um, but here is another cool thing. Check out that gauge over there on your left is a miles per gallon gauge. And it doesn't really have numbers, but it just has a plus and a minus. So what that's pretty much saying is you're getting awesome MPG. That's really it. Um, and I'm just cruising along at 65, um, which is faster than I should be going, but it was getting good um, good miles driving driving at that speed um, let's see we've got that we'll try our horn horn works and brakes are good and solid um, but when I pressed on the brake I did hear that, that suspension noise so let's see if I can if I go from side to side so I don't think it's wheel bearings it's gotta be um, and I don't think it's struts struts you'd hear kind of driving um, kind of driving down the road um, but I heard it when when I hit gravel um, so it could be struts could be ball joints um, ball joints control arms that kind of thing I do not think it's CV axles CV axles are usually uh, they make a clicking noise as opposed to like a popping bumping noise um, and this is a, a popping bumping noise um, I know that's like super like mechanical fancy speak which it's really not um, but uh, that's the best way to describe it so my guess is you're looking at front struts or ball joints um, and I, I think it's probably on both sides um, I know that I've heard it on the driver's side um, and it's kind of one of those things you don't have to replace them in pairs but it's not a bad idea to do because if if on one side of the vehicle one is bad the other one's probably not too far behind it um, so just kind of plan on that but outside of the suspension this is an excellent driving vehicle it has great power it's all-wheel drive um, it's a Subaru which automatically is um, just plus points um, gets good miles per gallon um, hopefully I will get uh, the oil changed tomorrow that's just that's one of the requirements of uh, when my kids buy a car they have to um, clean it and change the oil so um, again that will be in the description if and when we get that done um, and if you have any other questions just hit me up my cell phone is 309-267-7200 thanks guys